Guys, what's up? I have a video from AR Doorsman here. Um, today I'm doing a tackle warehouse. Tackle warehouse unboxing. Alright, let me go get a knife and we'll get started. That didn't work. Alright, so my brother got a rod with this order, also, so that will be in the receipt. Sticker, as always with orders over 50 bucks. Come through seat. There's your seat. All right, first up, we have a seven inch kicker fish worm. Let me find that one, right here in watermelon seed. Now, I've used kicker fish before and they have holes in their tail. And that makes them really good. Um, I'll show it to you if it shows up. Um, that's what we caught. So we did a tournament on Lake Greeson in Arkansas. I'm not sure if that shows up very well, but that's there's holes in the tail and it makes the tail to stand up better and it gives it really good action I got 7 inch because summer's going to come up pretty soon and the bait will be bigger that they're eating um, next up we have kicker fish tail slapper Two different colors. We have that one and that one. I really like kicker fish tail slapper. They're really good. I've used them before. I use their pearl and it's really it worked really good. I caught quite a few on them. Um and then we have a wiggle wart. Well, three of them. Find them. Oh, there it is. There's the third. So there's one wiggle wart, two wiggle wart, and three wiggle wart. Um, wiggle warts, every pro has them. You know it. Uh, they were. And they are probably the best crankbait out there on the market. And if you don't have them, you need to get them. I caught a ton on wiggle warts this past weekend when I went fishing. And then next we have a Strike King 6XD. Two of those. No, three of those. Should be. Three or two. Oh, yeah, three. So we have this. And then this color, also. Tennessee Shad and Chartreuse with the blue uh, top. Um, in the tournament in Lake Greeson, also, that's what we caught three of our five fish on. Um, and then... Uh, some shaky heads. Uh, Omega custom tackle shaky heads. Um, those are really good. They have like a um, oh, uh, straight shank hook on them, and so that like that makes it and the hook is flat against the bait, so it makes it weedless. That's why I got those. 
Um, and then we have the, oh, some more kicker fish. This is a three, I mean, four and three quarter size. This is what, when I'm uh, finesse fishing, that's what I use. Also in the green, in, in the watermelon seed. And then we have um, some pure poison. I think this is what, I can't remember what the pure poison was. Oh, here it is. The Strike King Pure Poison. Chatterbait. So, that ought to work since the spawn's coming up. Uh, chatterbaits are going to be a big role in tournaments now that the spawn's coming up. Um, then we have the, uh, some frogs. Not hollow belly, but uh, soft plastic. Those are always good. And then we have Yes, finesse jig. That ought to be good. It's a pro vitter. If that's even how you pronounce it. Sorry if that's not. And then we have some frog hooks. A uh, pack of two. That those hooks won't match nicely with these frogs. Well, that's it for this Tackle Warehouse unboxing. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.